In health news today, a new survey found that a quarter of employers say they are considering adding coverage for weight loss drugs like Wegovy and Ozempic. These medications are intended for diabetes patients, but have become really popular for people who are trying to lose weight. Companies typically pay for these drugs for diabetic patients, but not for weight loss. The Kaiser Foundation says to check with your company during open enrollment to see how they plan to handle the drugs. And the skyrocketing popularity of weight loss drugs like Ozempic and Wegovy has also resulted in a range of side effects and a notable one that you may have heard of, Ozempic face. It's when the face sags after some people lose a large amount of weight. So let's talk about it on this Wellness Wednesday. Joining me now is Dr. Sonal Harder with Dignity Health Medical Group. Before I get into this side effect, I want to get your quick reaction to the fact that more companies now are considering coverage of these very expensive weight loss drugs. Sam, did you see me smile? And yes! Little clap? I know! I'm so excited about this because there was a new statistic that was just released and for the first time in 45 years, we see a slight decline in the rate of obesity mm -hmm. in United States. But that does not mean it's not a problem. It's still a big problem. We still have 40% people who are battling obesity. Right. But this news makes me very happy. That means we can help so many people. Right. And, and do you think that, you know, the rate of obesity because it's plateaued, that's mm -hmm. because of a lot of these weight loss drugs? Absolutely. Yeah. That's, I mean, the trend is from 2020 to 2023. And the only thing that has changed in the last three years is we are using these medications. About 6% U.S. population uses you know, this sort of therapy for mm -hmm. obesity. Mm -hmm. And one in eight people have used these medications for obesity purposes. So, okay. and there's more education. We are yeah. talking about it. There's more awareness about it. Yeah, I feel like every time we talk about it, ears kind of perk up, mm -hmm. you know, and there's still so much confusion about it still. But back to our topic of why you're here, we wanted to talk about one of the most notable side effects is right. ozempic face. We've hear it, you know, trending and it's a real thing. So a lot of people lose a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. But what makes Ozempic face different? Okay, so when you lose extreme or dramatic weight in very short time, mm -hmm. you land up losing not just your fat tissue, but also your muscle and collagen. Now, if you think about our face, we have muscle, we have fat, we have collagen. Mm -hmm. And if you lose rapid weight, in very short time, actually in an unhealthy way, it yeah. can result in losing all that fat and muscle causing a little hollow look, and that's what people refer to. Now, this is not unique to Ozempic. This actually can happen with anything that causes I'm rapid you weight said loss. That. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, so it's not, it could be Wigovi, it could be Mongero, Correct. it could be all of them. And actually what has happened with these medications is we know these medications are very effective in weight loss. So about 20% weight loss with Wigovi and Ozempic, about 26% weight loss in Manjaro and Zepbound. Oh, so compared okay. to all other medications, these medications really are rock stars when it comes to total weight loss. Okay, so let's talk about how do you avoid getting this Ozempic face or whatever weight loss drug that That's people are using. That's a great question. And this is where it is very important to follow somebody who knows how to use these medications. So are these medications being titrated appropriately? That mm -hmm. is number one. Number two, you do not want any more than one to two pound of weight loss per week. Because oh. if you lose more than that, that can result in all those side effects. Yeah, and a lot of people think, oh, if I don't lose it right away, right. that's a bad thing, Absolutely. and then they possibly may get off of it. Uh, it not only lose, I mean, you lose your muscle and fat, but you also slow down your metabolism. So there is okay. no benefit in losing rapid weight loss, right? Okay. Number two is making sure that you're eating well-rounded nutrition. This is why people go on very restrictive calories. Yeah. This does not serve us right because it results in hair loss, fat loss, collagen loss. You want at least 30% of your calories coming from good quality protein, okay. along with some weight training and resistance training. This is what causes fat loss, but preserves your muscle and mm. collagen. So this is very important to educate people while they're on these medications. These medications are not for everyone. There's risk and benefit profile. Right. And somebody who is educated to talk about nutrition, guidance on how much protein, what kind of vegetables and fruits, 
those are people who are losing weight appropriately without having some of these side effects. Interesting. I did not know about the hair loss. Correct. That's the first time I've heard of that. Hair loss is common. Yeah. Dehydration is common. Dehydration can actually add to that effect. Yeah. Using alcohol or excessive alcohol can also result in that. So really it's multimodal and these conversations need to happen every time the patient has a prescription given to them and also if they're coming into your office to talk about their follow-ups. Mm -hmm. It's so important to constantly be in communication Absolutely. with the doctor. Also, you know, you talked about some of the side effects. Mm -hmm. What are some other major ones that people possibly could affect? So most people complain of nausea, vomiting, either constipation or diarrhea, and severe loss of appetite. And these side effects are somewhat lo not long lasting. Some mm -hmm. people have it for a long time, but within eight weeks, some people actually feel better. And there are some ways to get around it. But again, these medications are not for everyone. Close follow-ups are essential. And this is the ground rules in my practice when I see patients for weight loss. Okay, great insight. I know we'll see you back again and we'll talk more about these weight loss drugs. Sonal, thank you so much. Thank